purpose of celebrating Youth Day is to remind us of the progress that we've made in equality and equal opportunity in South Africa. It should also remind us that the voice of the youth can inspire action to benefit society. The South African youth faces many challenges in adopting healthy lifestyle behaviours. These include affordability, health illiteracy and general access to safe spaces and healthy food options. Health policies and fiscal policies such as the introduction of sugar tax and high taxation on cigarettes and alcohol aim to reduce unhealthy behaviours. However, maybe if we focus on creating opportunities for health promotion and addressing the barriers to access, we may better serve the youth in achieving healthy lifestyles. Young employees face high risk of mental strain and developing mental health disorders. And this is due to um, current economic turbulent times, it's due to high pressures to succeed, but also the always on culture that now extends from our social lives, but also into the workplace. Organizations can assist their staff by creating a supportive environment that promotes well-being. Things like improving access to mental health services, assessing workload demands, but also addressing toxic workplace cultures can go a long way in relieving some of the psychological strain. As a young South African working in the healthcare industry, I not only have a responsibility to make sure that the solutions that we put in place are sustainable and equitable, but also that they consider the needs of our future. Access to quality healthcare is one of the foundations of a prosperous society. Unfortunately, in South Africa, we have large inequities that require us to find sustainable solutions. Thinking differently and collaborating across the industry is what is required to develop these solutions. Working in an organization that aims to transform healthcare through innovation and integration is very exciting. It's also very fulfilling being able to develop solutions that will benefit all South Africans and help them improve their quality of life and overall well-being. The empowerment of youth to take responsibility for their own health care goes a long way in making sure that they have access to the services that they need. Youth empowerment not only leads to improved preventative visits, but also long-term engagement with their own health and well-being. Virtual healthcare provides an amazing opportunity to both empower um, this part of the population, but also improve access and address issues of health illiteracy in the population. With smartphone penetration in South Africa being more than 90% right now, this is a channel that is accessible to many people and can help them not only manage their own health, but those people who are in their care. With unemployment rates being as high as they are, many young South Africans are having to look for opportunities in unconventional places. However, in South Africa, there is still demand for affordable services and goods. And so if one's able to hone your entrepreneurial skills, you may be able to create your own opportunities. However, this is not an option that's available to many South Africans, either because of educational level or the lack of a supportive enabling environment. So until we have more employment opportunities, a large part of this population, that is young South Africans, may not be able to prosper and take their families with them. If I had to give my younger self advice, I would tell her to be bold, to be confident in what you know, and be eager to learn from others. <laughs>